tell us again um, your, your name and uh, what you do. So my name is Ingrid Hubbard and I'm the Human Resources Director over the Talent Acquisition Function at NASB. And basically, in a nutshell, my role is to connect great people with great careers at NASB. And uh, we are looking forward with making some of those connections today as well. Wonderful. Um, and so uh, we know NASB is a bank, but can you tell us a little more about what NASB does? Yes, so we are a banking institution. We are a federal savings bank with more than two billion in assets. Uh, we offer a comprehensive products of retail banking services. And then also we are one of the nation's uh, leaders in mortgage lending and have funded over 24 billion in home loans since 2008. Oh, and how many locations do you guys have Yes, yeah, so we have 11 different retail uh, branch locations throughout the Kansas City, Missouri area. Okay, and um, with all those different locations, um, I'm sure you're, you have lots of positions to hire for, is that right? What kind of positions are you looking to hire for now? Yes, so we have uh, different branch locations, and those are our retail branch locations, but our main headquarters is right in South Kansas City, and we're right off of 435 in Holmes, for those that are familiar with that intersection, and a lot of our positions are located there. Uh, we have uh, jobs for all different skill types and backgrounds. Uh, within our commercial lending and credit area, we have um, what we call commercial loan closers. We have quality control roles. We have uh, senior credit analyst positions. Uh, we also have within our operations and servicing areas, we have, we're looking for mortgage loan processors, mortgage loan closers, underwriting management roles, as well as processing management roles. Uh, within kind of the standard corporate roles, we have some IT openings as well as in HR, we have some um, e-learning opportunities for individuals who have an interest. Excellent. That is, that's a lot of different positions that are open. Um, sounds like the educational background and the skill sets are, are a little different for each job um, and that you have entry level positions as well as um, positions that require higher degrees and skills. Correct. So, I mean, it depends on the type of role. So we're always, always hiring for our banking retail roles. And those roles, really, you can kind of learn, come in and grow the business. But we also have entry level roles kind of with our operations function. So you can kind of learn the process, whether it's your career path is to learn kind of loan processing, loan um, uh, credit underwriting, that piece. We have uh, classes of junior underwriters that we bring in as well. And then we have some of the more technical roles where you, you need some experience, the management roles, of course. Um, and then with our corporate roles, software engineer, I think that's a pretty standard role for a lot of different industries, but you do need some background and skill sets in order to fill those particular roles. Right. Excellent. And uh, besides those skills and um, the degrees that you just mentioned that might be needed for those, what kind of characteristics are you looking for uh, in potential hires? You know, someone who is naturally curious, someone who is looking to put their best foot forward for our customers. We are very much a customer-based organization. And, you know, we're about making dreams come true in the mortgage lending, of course, and detail oriented, of, of course, because, you know, accuracy is very key. So, you know, in a nutshell, I would say um, naturally curious, detail oriented, um, wanting to learn and grow, you know, uh, those would be key skill sets, um, excellent customer service skills. Yeah, and it sounds like those are kind of some buzzwords that you are going to want on a resume. Are there any other uh, specific things that you look for when you're sorting through resumes? You know, um, communication skills, how someone communicates both orally and on paper. Um, that's key because, uh, you know, communication 
within your teams, within your departments, that's key to just make things successful. Um, you know, someone who can handle themselves in a tough situation in uh, conflict resolution, depending on kind of, you know, what the role, the situation may be, are also good skills to have uh, with a role. Right. Now, for someone that is wanting to apply, um, I'm, I'm sure the process is slightly different, at least in some areas, as they're going through the application and interview process um, because of COVID. Uh, what does the application process look like right now from start to uh, offer? Yes, so we have streamlined our process a little bit with the COVID and basically we're doing primarily phone interviews. Um, we are asking individuals to apply online. They can apply our website. We have all of our position descriptions listed and you can apply directly there for the role you're interested in. As well as if you have questions, we have an email called uh, our jobs at nasby.com which you can email questions if you want to email a resume. If you, you know, you're not sure exactly what, what role would fit for me, you know, email it there and we will uh, reach out to you and have a conversation to kind of fill out, to figure out kind of what's the best skill set based on the roles that we have available. Um, with uh, you, once you submit your application, one of the recruiters will uh, give you a call and talk to you about that role. Uh, ask about your job history, ask you a few questions, and then uh, we'd set you up from phone interviews from there. If you're selected for the position, we do have a fully remote onboarding process that we have kind of developed through this COVID period. Um, we're currently all remote at this time. Um, and kind of during this remote period, we are shipping equipment to the individual and fully do our new hire orientation, uh, fully remote. And uh, we have really just, you know, taken this COVID thing and turned it on this ear and, you know, business as usual. Wow. Yeah. And I, you know, I was talking to some folks the other day and they were saying um, they were hired during, uh, during COVID and they haven't even met face to face some of their colleagues yet. So it's, it is indeed a very, very interesting time for job seekers. Um, so you said um, the email where people could send their resumes to find out where they matched was jobs at nasby.com? Correct. Okay. I'm going to put that in the chat. All right. Um, so for a... Um, Position that is available now, someone um, sends in their resume, has that interview. Um, what does the onboarding process look like? You said some, some of the positions you'll um, are completely remote. And do you have any that are in person right now? So there are very few that are in person um, roles where we're onboarding. Um, there may be a situation where they may onboard you for like a half a day or so on site and then send you remote. Uh, some of our retail branches, they have limited staff there. So those would be more, you train remotely and then you go to those sites um, for that respective position. Uh, very limited, I'd say at least probably 98% of our organization were completely remote at this point. Okay. Um, and in that hiring process, when people, when you guys are doing your background checks um, and credit checks, what should people be aware of with that? Uh, if someone has, doesn't have great credit or they're not credit visible, um, what can they do to uh, get hired? Yeah, and you have to think about that. So with the checks there, we're really looking for, you know, patterns of things that may be kind of at risk. So uh, usually it's more of, okay, if there's have something that may not be as positive in your background, it's more of we, what we will ask is kind of our letter of explanation to say, you know, um, what contributed to it being in this process? And more importantly, what are you doing to resolve it? 
And so just making sure that it's not kind of a repeat uh, situation. Right. So if, if um, somebody asked this in the last, um, in the last session, but if um, they are wondering whether or not they should try, even try to apply because they know they've had a bad history with credit, um, is that something to say, uh, just try it and, and see what happens? I always say try because of course, you know, there's no pass or fail. We all know that situations come up, life happens. So, you know, that is nothing to kind of um, discourage you from applying. It's just a matter of, hey, we're you're kind of required to, to do this check. And if there's some things that need further explanation, we'll ask for that. But by no means um, should you not apply because, you know, we know life happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, with these jobs, are you offering part-time positions and full-time positions? On some of the positions, we do have part-time opportunities. I think the ones currently are all full-time, but they do come up. And uh, I definitely, you know, if part-time is something that you have interest of, I would definitely, you know, tell the recruiter that you're talking to because sometimes it may be something that, hey, well, we didn't think about a part-time opportunity, but we may have one here that we might potentially use you, so. Excellent, and are, are, did the benefits change from part-time to full-time positions? And can you talk a little about benefits? So yes, we offer medical, dental, vision, retirement. Uh, we have matching with our retirement as well. Um, we have um, generous vacation and what we call personal time off. Uh, of course, with banking, we have 10 paid holidays and we are a community-based bank. And so we encourage our employees to be involved in the community. And so we offer what we call volunteer time off. In addition to, we give time off for your birthday. And that can be taken at any time throughout the year at that person's choice. Excellent. Yeah, we love to see that because we at Women's Employment Network, we have volunteers that um, have partnerships with their employers so that they can be compensated for the time that they're coming to volunteer with us. So I'm glad you guys do that. It's really helps out. Um, so what makes uh, NASB different than other banks? What makes the experience of working there different? So I would definitely say um, a few things. So our home time field, I mean, we're not a bank based out of New York or someplace. We're right here. We're right here with our community and we work uh, with the community. With that, we have a very, very unique culture. I know a lot of organizations probably will say that, but we really do. Um, we, we work hard, we, um, we play hard, and we also um, are very family oriented. Um, we have what we call a fun committee that all they do is come up with act activities for our employees to either do volunteer opportunities or whether it be sports raffles kind of pre-COVID, uh, to the Royals Chiefs. Uh, we have activities. I don't know, you know, I would encourage everyone to check out our LinkedIn site. Um, it highlights some of the uh, fun things that we've done, the um, new hobbies that have come out through the quarantine. It tells you a little bit about our culture. We, I mean, we really um, value employees. We value the new um, information that a new employee brings to the to the uh, to the organization um, our leaders are down to earth and they encourage new ideas and new thoughts so it's really a really great place to, to work excellent so the company culture sounds like it's very comfortable correct and then also in addition to that um you know we are uh we have what we call ira non-recourse uh lender so Really, that's kind of unique, and we provide opportunities for someone to purchase rental property, kind of utilize an IRA if they qualify. So that's another kind of unique product that we offer. Excellent. Um, and did you um, want to share any slides today, or? Yes. Okay. Excellent. All right.
So I am going to share my screen. All right. So um, this is just a recap of just who we are, North American Savings and Bank. We've been a strong leader in the financial industry since 1927. Um, like I previously said, we're a hometown. We're a locally owned federal servants bank with over two billion access and access, excuse me. And we offer comprehensive products and banking product and services, and then mortgage lending is really our primary business, funding over $24 billion in loans since 2008. We're located here in Kansas City metropolitan area, and this picture you see is actually a picture of our home uh, headquarter office off of 435 the branch locations. We also have three residential loan origination offices and one residential construction loan origination office. Uh, we have about 500 employees, and uh, here are some of the multiple types of lending that we offer, uh, residential, as well as a lot of people didn't realize that, you know, we have commercial and construction lending as well. So uh, we are uh, very much active on both sides, as well as the RRA, RRA non-recourse uh, loans that I spoke about. And this is just where we are located throughout the Kansas City metropolitan area. Now, our mission, we're all about creating rewarding relationships by delivering the guidance and genuine service that are unique as our customers' dreams and our aspirations. So we are very much customer focused and really want to make their dreams come true. Our values, get the job done and own the outcome. Uh, we're really focusing on the results and the outcomes of the customer's perspective. Be curious. Think about, you know, how could we do this and how can we approach the situation and how can we make it better? Uh, do the right thing. You know, a lot of organizations have integrity. Same deal here. Uh, we treat customers like family and, you know, we treat them as if this is our business, it's their business. And so we're all one NASB. There's no us, there's no them, it's just us. And that's how we treat it. Now, NASB, we are very involved in the community. Like I said, we are a community-based bank. And so here are just a number of the activities or organizations that we've partnered with and done uh, uh, various community outreach programs, uh, women's help, uh, employment network is also on this list as well. Uh, Kansas City Community Gardens, Boys and Girls Club. So, you know, we have a number of different uh, avenues where we do outreach. And, of course, um, we are a great place to work. And some of the opportunities that we have currently, uh, commercial lending credit, and I would, you know, highly recommend go to our website, uh, www.nasb. Dot com, and you can see the full descriptions of those uh, of these positions. But again, we have several opportunities, um, you know, for based for various different skill set, anywhere from a closer to a purchase loan transaction specialist, processors, junior underwriters, management positions in processor escrow. And then again, of our corporate roles, software engineer and IT, and then we have some uh, e-learning roles in human resources that we're looking for as well. And tell us a little about those e-learning roles. I'm really curious about what that uh, entails. So basically, they are the people who take a, um, they work with the subject matter experts in the departments and basically get the knowledge from those subject matter experts and develop training around that training that is uh, engaging and helps whether it be for onboarding or ongoing skill training and basically there are the people that are kind of building and writing that curriculum and creating those interactive ways to present it um, you know 
helping us get from a way to we can kind of present training in a more efficient and a more engaging manner. And um, benefits, just kind of recap our medical dental vision, retirement, our 10 paid holidays, um, vacation and personal leave time, birthday. Uh, we also have discounts for sporting events and theme parks, volunteer time off. And then uh, we do offer incentives for our employees for uh, mortgage referrals, as well as for employee referrals. So if you uh, uh, refer someone, we always feel like great people know great people. So we always encourage um, all of our employees to um, let us know those people. And then um, we have mortgage loan uh, discounts, as well as we encourage career growth and development. And there's just amazing opportunities within NASB to learn and grow in your career. And then again, our culture. Uh, one NASB, I can't say that enough, how much our culture is uh, unique to us. And I think it would be a great asset to anyone who chooses to join us. This picture is just a little bit of, you know, some of the activities that we have done in NASB, some of the fun more in office, as well as some of the more formal, but we really do treat each other like family. And so um, joining NASB will be kind of joining an extended family. And so uh, I'm gonna flip over to a little video that we have that kind of tells you a little bit about our culture and how we like to have a little fun with NASB. At NASB, we know that life looks a lot different this year. When you're used to working around smart, fun people who truly care about their community, their customers, and each other, it's hard being apart from people you consider family. But even though we're not under one roof right now, our connections to each other, our values, and the positive attitude we have remains as strong as ever. We're still the same problem solvers who know how to overcome challenges. We're curious and innovative by nature and genuinely happy to help. We believe in cultivating a culture of empathy and inclusion and treat each other with dignity and respect. Above all, we know that the best work cultures are the ones that respect your life outside of it. Thank you for um, allowing me this time to talk about NASB, and I hope it gave a little bit of glimpse of uh, our organization, and I really encourage anyone who is interested in a role with us to apply online, or if you'd like to email your resume to jobs at nasb.com. Excellent. And, um... It seems like that is the, the best way to get in contact with you and uh, check out the careers that are available. Is that right? And uh, you can also email jobs at nasb.com. Correct. Excellent. So if anyone has any questions before, uh, before we end for today, uh, just type it in the Q&A or you can type it in our chat. Um, it's very easy to go check out what they have. And if you're not sure about uh, how your skill sets match up with the available jobs, you can always email your resume to jobs at nasby.com. Um, just make sure to say um, where, you, where you saw NASB. It's really important that little networking piece to say, um, I encountered you on the uh, KC virtual job fair and heard about your company, would love to um, see what my resume, uh, what kind of jobs are available for me. So um, make sure to follow up and uh, use that jobs at nasby.com. You can also go to uh, that career site that is in the chat um, and check out what is available and where uh, the positions are available because it looks like they are 
you're hiring in all different locations. All right, so um, up next, we're gonna have US Bank and we'll be done for today. Um, I am going to make sure I follow up with everyone uh, who is attending and has attended um, a part of this virtual workshop or this virtual, virtual job fair uh, so that you have the information you need to get your resume to the right spot to continue to search those career pages. Um, these career pages are constantly updated. So uh, check back in if you're not seeing what you want. And um, Ingrid, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And I hope you have a great afternoon.